Hello everybody, if you're joining my stream at some point in this, what I'm doing is I'm weaving finished style Raya rugs and they have been made for hundreds of years um, on a loom much, just like, much like this and um, they have usually have a linen or a cotton warp on them and then there are several rows of knots that are tied um, to create a big pile and the Raya rugs were used um, originally as blankets and, and bed coverings and stuff and then they would also help to insulate um, the homes and they'd, they would cover the walls where there were drafty places in the log cabins and things. So this one is, um, is a pattern that I saw, that I found in a historical book, it's from the 1700s um, and I'm reproducing it. Um, and I use natural dyes and to do the colors much as they would have done way back when. And between each row of knots, I weave um, six rows of, of weaving, a plain weave or a tabby weave or a weave. And then um, and I, wrote, I tie the knots. It's very time consuming and takes a long time to do. So this is the pattern that I'm, I'm making and I have this section already under the loom and this part and I've done this first row of diamonds and I'm working on this small yellow section here. So I've done the B, I've done the B's there and I'm just working my way up along the pattern. Um, yeah, it's always difficult because I don't remember where I left off. That's just coming up. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Right, so this V comes into a point, so another couple of rows to come up to this point here. So I'll be working on the next row following the design. I use a very high-tech method of, of measuring my yarn. That's just a piece of cardboard that I folded. And I just cut a bunch of little ends that I'm going to knot into the rug. I use three strands per knot for this particular 
rug. I use different strands depending on what I'm making and how big I want the pile to be. But for this one, I'm using three strands of um, about a double knit weight. So I put up, pull up two warp ends. I pull this over, I split it, op split it open, and then I pull the knot through. So I'm just going to do all the purple ones first. So there. The yarns I'm using are not exactly the same color. I like to do different color blends and, and tones that are close because then it makes it much more interesting than one solid color. And I'm a bit random on number of each color that I use. now um, yellow 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 is next I think yes yellow is next yellow on either side of the purple
not great. Okay. Pink. Pink, pink, pink. My cat has been in here helping me rearrange my bowls of wool. Oops, missed that one. That's another yellow. Okay. 
Yes, I think it's two pinks here. Oh, that's wrong. Pink here.
No, it's too bright to take this out. I don't like that. I don't like that. I think I'll mix it with the layer now. I wanted a faulty one. That's better. No, 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 no. Yes.
Oh, it seems like there's two brain on me and I've got a candle. I'm not like you all go. with purples next. This one. No, no, no way. Run away balls of wool.
This is much like doing Turkish carpet knots, except it's a bigger scale. And they're not tiny, tiny knots. One more. One more. Oh, wait. Wait on me. She wasn't always dropping things. Okay, that's one row done. Now I have six rows across.